Yo, what's good with y'all, bruh? It's your boy, Hood, a.k.a. Dave, coming live from the School Woo Nation Studios. So, here's the thing about it. I was supposed to be dropping, like, five videos today. Like how I always do. I try, I've been trying to upload all my old prank calls. But I had a, a lot of crazy ass shit come up, which I'm going to talk about in this stream. And I couldn't really get around to it because I got so much stuff going on. Crazy as hell. So I still gotta, I'm still trying to drop all those old videos. Somebody said, school, what I throw up. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's a classic. Yo, Petty Gang, what's good, bruh? What's good? Shout out to my boy, FIFA God, man. Yo, Shock Vos, what's good, man? Jerome, my boy, Major Cores, what's good, bruh? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Yo, Andy, what's what's popping, bro? I was talking to my boy Andy earlier today. Yo, what's good, Ness? L LOL kid, what's good? Josh C. School. Yo, um, Chris Gaming was popping, bro. Wolf, Wolfman Gaming was good. My boy DBS Nova. Real chop. The GOAT. Yo, what's good? Yo, Glow, Glow Irv was popping, bro. My boy Anthony up in the cut. No peroxide. What's going on, man? Yo, what about live? You know, live rays shut down. So here's the, here's the story behind live rays. Live rays shut down. I came on live. I, I'm going to say this. I came on live rays and took over. At that time, I was I was just blowing up. And I was just hot, and they had hit me up. <coughs> they offered me a, contr a contractual deal. Hey, come over here. Come stream over here a couple times a week. We'll pay you X amount of money. I'm like, all right, cool. It's extra little money. They had paying me to go stream on their, on their site, and I was cool with that. So they paid me to come stream on their site. And the thing about live rays is... They, they did me real dirty. First off, I went over there. I gained 100,000 followers first month. I was one of the top, I was always top streamer. I was the second most followed person on the site out of everybody else. I was the second most, like everybody else, nobody else could compete with the numbers I was bringing in. So I was like, I was on a, I was on a kill streak. So I went over there and my you that was that was when my YouTube channel got banned the first time. So my YouTube channel got banned. I was like, all right, bet. So they offered me a deal. They was like, hey, we'll pay we'll pay you this amount of money if you become a permanent. Um, like you're only you'll only stream on our services. And I was like, okay, cool, bet. I mean, my YouTube channel was gone. Why not? So I started. If y'all don't remember, I was started streaming on live rays every night. I was on the grind, streaming every night. But they wasn't paying me what I was worth. You know, they wasn't they wasn't really they wasn't paying me my money. So when my YouTube channel came back because they they did me so dirty, man. They stopped giving me all the perks. They stopped, they was fucking me over on my money. And I like I said, this is coming from YouTube. I was making a ton of money. And they told me it was they was gonna pay me all this money. But they, when they saw that my YouTube channel was gone, they thought they could screw me over. But when I got my YouTube channel back the first time and I started streaming over there, they, I don't know, they kind of got all mad and salty. And I just said, man, whatever, I'm never streaming on this site again. And after that, man, they site got shut down, man, because I was holding that site together. Like when people think of live rays, they think of me. I, I like a lot of people didn't even know what that site was until they thought of me. You know, I, I put that site on. I had a hundred thousand people download that app. And use that service. How many people do you know who got the power like that? I had a hundred thousand people, a hundred a hundred thousand followers that came over there. Yo, Zay. No, I'm gonna keep on uploading. So, hood, God bless, loyal fans, sis, 2K scubs. Appreciate that, bro. So, here's what happened today. Yo, Lean was good, my boy. Lean over here, real chop. Been a hot little minute. Yo, K Retro was popping, bruh. But facts and home machine.
But here, here, here's the thing about it. So I was supposed to be uploading some videos today. Yo, GDRBD. Uh, I'm gonna have to say neither. I'm gonna have to say school. That's what I'm gonna have to say. <laughs> Also, one person did donate last time, but I didn't get a chance to read it. This dude said, have you ever considered fans in the Discord? Man, you know, I did the Discord thing, man, and people would get in there, act a fool, and, you know, I, I used to have the moderators, and I just got tired of the headaches. You know, people would come up there and just act a damn fool, so I didn't want to really deal with it too much. Um, so how are you making money? I own three video game stores. That's how I do it. So, um, yeah, if you watched my last live stream, the where have hood been, if you watch that live stream, you already know you, you'll, you'll catch up to everything that's going on. So G wave. No, if you watch my last live stream and yeah, where those do be in that shit, but yo, what's good, real chop. No, 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 no. I'm, I retired prank calls. Sir Xavier was live recently. Oh, that's cool. I haven't heard from him in years. Maybe like two, three years. Yo, ASAP Doodoo, what's good, bro? The Skype days, man. Back when I used to get DDoS all the time from people getting my my Skype. Black entrepreneur. Oh, yeah, big facts. So here's the thing about it. <clears throat> this is how I usually start off my morning. I wake up in the morning before I go to one of my stores. And I woke up this morning. And I didn't even have enough time to up. Well, first off, I already got a whole bunch of videos already uploaded. They're just private. But usually what I do is I go and I edit the description. I edit, I add in my tags. I'll add, I'll change, I'll add in a title and then I'll hurry up and upload it. But what I would do is I would do, I would schedule five videos at a time. Just all depends anywhere from two to five videos, wherever, however many I'm feeling like, feeling like putting out that day. So I woke up this morning. So let me, let me, let me, let me start off from a couple days ago. <coughs> Actually, let me start off. So just to educate the people that don't know. So I got three stores. I got, um, I got a, I got a, I got two stores here in Omaha. One of them I actually just opened up in the inside of a mall. I got a store in Lincoln, Nebraska, which is about an hour away from me. I stay in Omaha, Nebraska. So <clears throat> a while ago, but th this is back in like August. I'm going to be honest. The state that I live in is racist as hell. These damn racist white people. Yo, um, bro, I can't, you know, I can't read, man. You know, I can't read that name, bro. Resonac, I'm, I'm, I'm not about to try. Yo, he said, a, a hood. God, glad to have you back. Been, been laughing over your vids on God. Rest in peace to the homie Juice World, man. Oh, yeah, man. RP Juice World, man. Peace at that $5, man. Man, that and that's I spoke about the juice world situation in my last video. I don't know, it's it's still real suspicious to me. And at the same time, I mean, he did make a video where he was talking about selling his soul. So that's the thing about it. Damn hood, you can't retire. I talked about it on my live stream. I don't want to talk too much about it again, but man, I I I retired a while ago. And a in a re and the reason being is in that last live stream. Yo, Sosa Chain TV, appreciate that one dollar. He said that one ducko. He said, um, what's up, hood? A hey, shout my channel out. What did he say? I really want to start a YouTube career before I consider going to the army. Sosa Chain. Sosa Cho. Sosa 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 Chain. First off, shout out to your YouTube channel. <clears throat> Sosa 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 Chain. All right, all right, all right. Now, 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 we gotta speak about the army thing before I even get. All right, but but stay tuned. I'm a, I'm gonna talk about what I was just talking about a little bit ago. Let's let's go into the army thing because I always want to talk about that. Now, at my store in the mall, we always get these army recruiters in. It's some black dudes. They always come in there. They always try to recruit people. <laughs> so they came in there. They first off, they tried to recruit me. Me is. As a young African American man, this is what I straight up told him to another African American man who was in the army. I said, "Look, I don't have a war to fight across seas. My war to fight is right here in America. We got black people getting gunned down in the streets. 
We got black people out here that can, that can barely afford food, that can't afford bills, that's out here struggling and fucked up. These are the wars that I have to fight. I got to fight the war on oppression, the, the war on drugs. All these damn wars that I got right here to fight is right here in America. I got to help out. We got to help out black people before I go across seas going to go help out rich white people. That shit don't got nothing to do with me. You know, when 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 we was fighting in the Vietnam War, when they captured black people, they would straight up tell them, don't you know this war has nothing to do with you and we'll let them go. We'll free them. They, they captured soldiers who came from America. And we came back from the Vietnam War still to be called niggers. The same thing with, with the young um, with the young brother who said, I won't stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. His mom and his dad was servicemen and women who served the country. Came back because their son was like, I'm not standing for the Pledge of Allegiance because the Pledge of Allegiance is a lie. Injustice for all is in the Pledge of Allegiance. Are we getting justice? He was like, I'm not going to stand until I see progress, actual progress in America. Guess what they did? They demonized his name. His family, his mom and his dad had to come back from fighting overseas to come back to go fight another war. Got to defend their eight-year-old son. By these racist white people. Man, I got I got a war to fight right here. So that, that that's the thing about it, man. I, like I said, I, I got a I got a war to, a crazy war to fight in the community. And it's real fucked up out here. You alright? With Chris Gaming, appreciate the one Doko. He said, Yo, hook, can I get my back, bro? I'm 17 and I'm done. No, no, you can't get my back. You're uneducated. Define uneducated. The thing, the thing, the thing about it is telling someone that they have a war to fight elsewhere is not being uneducated. Was Muhammad Ali uneducated? Remember, he skipped out on the draft. He didn't go fight. He said, I got a war to fight right here in America. What's the point of going to go fight in another country? Then come back here to still be called nigga once you get back. <clears throat> I got a lot of family men, service men and women in my family. I'm not about to, you know, I'm not, I'm not about to flex about that. And I respect what they did. But me personally, no. Hell no. I'm not leaving. But, hey, it's up to you. I want to see her get trolled. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Bye-bye. I had to block a couple people. People people get dumb. People get ignorant. Hood came back acting like Malcolm X. No, I mean the thing is, it's a lot of black people that act like this. You just gotta pay attention and wake up. I mean, you probably one of those one of those Negroes who sit on the on the TV or sit on the fucking YouTube. This is why I don't get on YouTube no more. You know what I'm saying? This is why I don't. Um, I don't even really watch videos like that no more. It's it's Cart Carlton's number one fan donated one ducky. He said, "Hey man, happy to see you again on the stream, but you my favorite gay black streamer on the planet. Thank you for that one ducky." I don't, I don't know where the hell you're getting that gay stuff from, but whatever. <laughs> but um, Big Ron 2020 donated one ducko. He said, but will Big Ron be the commander in chief instead then? Real job. <laughs> but, man, it, it is what it is. Hood, cut your hair. No, I'm probably going to leave it the same. I do got to get it lined up. I've just been busy. When you're running three stores and not sitting on social media and sitting on YouTube and playing 2K all day, you actually got a life and you're coming home to a wife and kids. I mean, you really can't. It's hard to really go out and focus on and, and cutting up your hair, dumb, damn hair. So I do got to get it lined up, but I haven't been really focused on. I've been focused on some other shit. Up to a certain time where you jump the devil. No, no shit. <laughs> And that's a classic. I'm not going to lie. I, I forgot all about that one. Oh, both of my kids is cool. 
Yeah, my, my, my kids is real, real cool. Hood, as you hear about Terrell Lance almost exposing his label. Yeah, I heard about that. And the thing about it is, you shouldn't almost have to expose your label. First off, what you going to expose about them? You signed the deal. When they come, you they don't, you, you're not forced to sign, put that pen on paper. But what the thing is, the thing about it is, most, a lot of black people, we're, we're talented. We're really talented people. But a lot of us really don't have that business sense in order to go out and learn how to get it by ourselves. I mean, if you got if you put out a song and a song is popping and it's hot, everybody's listening to it. Why would you then go sign a deal, which now that record label owns your masters, meaning that they own that song? That makes no sense, because now every time they play that song, they license out that song. They're getting paid. They're generating revenue off the music that you created. Why not create the damn song and not sign a deal? That's the thing about it. That's why I wouldn't sign no deal. Yeah, I got two kids. I got two sons. I got a two-year-old and I got a um a one-year-old. But back to what I was talking about earlier. So I woke up, I woke up today, and I was supposed to be uploading. Well, I already got the videos uploaded. I was supposed to be scheduling videos to premiere today. But I woke up to some crazy ass shit. So y'all already know I got I got the three stores. I woke up to some crazy shit. So I fired this employee a couple days ago. I fired him because and 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 let me let me give you the whole backstory. So this dude, so I got about like 30 employees that work for my stores. I remember I got like three stores. So I got about I got a I got a lot of employees. I got a, a lot of people that work for me in my stores. So he was working at my store in Lincoln, Nebraska. This this fool. So this fool goes on ahead and first off, you know, he always kind of had like those social issues and I never really minded it because I know some people are like that. But he was like, I thought he would be a good worker. I thought he was going to be a good person to have working at the store. And, you know, he kind of he was always wanting to work up to the assistant manager spot. And it is what it is. I got a lot of employees to pay attention to. And he was working too. And I thought he was actually going to make it because the dude was working. The dude was fucking out here grinding. And he got the store. The store smelled like a skunk. Dope. Dope shit. So I thought he, I thought he was going to get it. And what, you know, so he would randomly spaz out on people. He randomly spazzed out on another employee for like no reason. I I look back at the um, camera footage, so I could be able to look at all the camera footage at at all my store on my phone. Look back at the camera footage, you know he spazzing out on him and then stormed out to his car. Also spazzed about the store manager because this dude he always wanted to do fist bumps and always wanted to pretty much be real friendly to everybody at the store, which is I mean whatever. But it's just like if someone's working and they're doing the task at hand, not everybody be, want to be fist bumped every 10 seconds. So if he's handling a customer, he don't want to keep on fist bumping you over and over and over again. So he got mad about that, stormed out the store on his shift, whatever. Got mad at the store manager because the store manager didn't want to play Tekken with him. Whatever, so... I like that slide. So a couple of days ago, this this dude called me, and I'm pulling up to my I'm pulling up to the my my store in the mall, and I'm in my car. So I'm like, "Yo, what's going on?" He was like, "I deserve the assistant manager spot. I've been working hard and all this and that." So he this dude is real like heated and on the phone talking crazy, and then he talking about that he felt like we was bullying him and all this wild. This wild shit, like this dude just make it up some some shit on the phone. So I'm like, look, calm down. I don't know what's going on with you. I don't know if you smoke some bad weed. I don't know if you tooted your nose with powder. I don't know what the hell is going on. Yo, big Ron 2020 donated one duck. He said, Do you have make more money streaming or from your businesses? Hmm 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 hmm. Tell him if that's who. So it all depends. I'll, I'll I'll break down them numbers real quick. So back when I had my channel, 
when I had my other YouTube channels and I had the my obviously my main channel with 250,000 I Nate Nickers donated one dot ducket clever name bro you're amazing keep streaming you make me whatever uh so this dude so back when I had that shit I was making about I'm just gonna be honest man I was making about 10 to 12 thousand a month off YouTube and the thing about it is that's money like it's just money you know it's not like you gotta take that money you really gotta invest it into something else you, it's just money that you really don't have to invest in product and inventory and you know pay employees I'm just paying myself I make it ten to twelve thousand dollars I was making ten to twelve thousand dollars a month off YouTube that I was just making uh the only thing about it is like when you have three stores I mean a lot of the money that you make you obviously gotta invest back into the store more buying more product buying paying for employees so it all depends I mean if you are one of those employers or owners who want to pay yourself more money yeah you can make a lot more money than 10 to twelve thousand. you can make a ton of money a month or if you like me that just invest all the money back into the business I mean you're I mean, cause that's the type of, that's the type of shit that I do. I mean, I just invest all my money cause I want my business to grow. I opened up three stores this year, this year. So I mean, but yeah, I was making, man, I was making a ton of money off YouTube off my last year. I mean, I'm not, I'm not gonna go flex. I was making a crazy amount of money, but I took all that money and I just invested it into the stores. So that, that's how I did it. But back to what I was saying, man. So this dude, so to make a long story short, this dude started blowing up on the phone, yelling and screaming, acted a damn fool. This employee acted a damn fool. James Johnson donated one duck at 47 pennies. He said big room 22 to legalize that skunk. This man. Look. Man, they need. Man, we need Bernie Sanders in office, man. I'm never gonna lie. That's probably not gonna happen. But I don't know, man. We need Bernie Sanders in office, but ain't no telling if he even do get office. If he can, if he's able to legalize marijuana like how he said he wanted to do, ain't no telling. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. I don't, I don't smoke weed. I don't do any of that. But I don't look. Tupac said it the best: "The war on drugs is the war on you and me." It's 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 that damn simple. The war on drugs is the war on you and me. And it ain't nothing, it ain't nothing but a way to attack African Americans. I've been attacked by it. Oh, your car smell like weed. I gotta sell even though it doesn't. It doesn't smell like any smell like fucking the the damn stuff that hangs from your rear view mirror. The little tree scents. And then so they, they they'll make up a lot. Oh, your car smells like weed. Go out and search. They'll search the whole car, won't find nothing. Now your an hour of your time is wasted. It's just an excuse so they could be able to go on ahead and target certain people, certain individuals, have an excuse to be able to stop, frisk you, search you, harass you. That's all that shit is. Kanye for 2020. Oh, hell no. He bet not. He bet not ever become president. That man is a fool. Oh, you show change. You... You stop using it. And that's another thing, too. And I'm going to be honest. You're really on point. I felt like Big Ron 22 donated one ducky. He said, what do you mean you don't smoke loud? I'm, I'm going to get to that here in a little bit. But look, here, here's the thing about it. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Here, here, here's why I show change. I felt like YouTube was changing how I was, and I felt like it was changing me for the worse. And it's, it's not like I was saying like it was changing me for the worse because obviously I, I always put on a character. I'm always putting on a character, but I felt like it was making putting me in a box where I'm always just on YouTube and focusing on YouTube. And that's why a lot of times, man, I really don't get on the internet like internet like that, man. I I'm gonna be honest, like I, a lot of times I do focus, I focus a lot of time on myself, my family, 
Yo, casual germ. What's good, bruh? Long time no ski. Donated one ducky. He said, welcome back. How's fatherhood treating you, bro? I wish the best for you. Man, fatherhood's treating me great. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing to have, to have some kids. But... Yeah, man, that, that's 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 the main thing too, man. You you always want to take a step back and check your character and check, man. Is this what I what I want to do? You know what what do I want to do? You want to make sure you're taking that right steps, and that's why, like you know, that's why I've been just real low key. I I've been don't I donate to a lot of stuff in the community. Tomorrow, I'm going out. I'm take I I got about six families that's coming out. Six foster parents, well, five foster parents and one single mother with like five kids coming out to the mall tomorrow. I'm gonna take them all on shopping sprees for their for their uh, foster kids and for their kids. I mean, this is the type of stuff that I do. Like I'm, I donate money to the community. I'm helping people. When I said I have a war to fight right here in America, this is the war I'm fighting. The war on poverty. I mean, yeah, we might be physically free, financially, mentally, spiritually. We are still enslaved. And it's that simple. So that's why this this is why I do the things I do. This is why I said I really don't sit on YouTube. I mean, it's nothing but negativity on a lot of this social media stuff anyways. So I just I, I don't even really touch it. I don't get on it. I mean, I try to post and then I'll peek peep on it. And then these fools sometimes get crazy. But. Man, like I said, I'm I'm trying to focus on me and my damn community. That's it. So back to Big Rome. What do you mean don't smoke loud? Look, I'm going to be honest, man. We. First off, now, I do believe um, Carlton's number one fan. Appreciate the one ducket. Hey, hood. So happy to see you back. You inspired me so much to come out the closet. I don't know. What the hell? Um. So he said, what do you mean you don't smoke loud? So here's the thing about it. Anything that can inebriate my mindset and mess with my chemistry my and my physical anatomy, well, in a negative way, why would I do it? I know a lot of people say, you know, oh, you can smoke weed, but... The thing about it is most people do it excessively anyways. They do it excessively. And the thing about it is I'm always trying to make sure my energy and my vibrations is at a certain level. So, I mean, I'm I'm not about to... I'm, I, I just don't want to do it. I mean, that's just the type of person I am. I don't need anything to put in my body... I'm trying to stay away from, I try to stay away from fucking NyQuil, DayQuil, all that fucking pill, I'm like Tylenol pills, all that bullshit. Man, I try to do everything natural. So, I mean, that, that that's, that's the best way to do it, man. Putting all that fucking weed into your body, man, that shit, that, and that's what they want us to do anyways. I got a two-year-old and a one-year-old. Big mug donated two ducats. He said that's real chop, real chop. So, so back to what I was saying. So, man, this damn employee. So this morning I woke up after I fired this employee a couple of days ago because this dude spazzed out on me over the phone, flipping out. It didn't. It didn't. Didn't show up to his shift. Was screaming and yelling. This going crazy because I don't know. I don't really, I really don't know what he was just fucking spazzing out and going crazy over the phone. I'm like, hey, look, take take a break. So 10 o'clock rolls around when the store is supposed to be open. I call I call him like, where you at? Because I get motion sensing and all my all the stuff on my cameras on my phone. And he's already answering the phone hostile once I call. What? What do you want? Like, this dude is spazzing out. I'm like, why are you not at the store? Man, so I end up, I ended up firing this dude. Then he was talking about, I'm about to come kick your ass and talk. And, I, and now I'm in front of my employees my, in, in my um store in the mall. And they're listening to this. like, damn, is this dude really talking to the boss like this? And I'm saying here, like, what the hell? This dude on the phone talking, I'm going to kick your ass. And I just hung up the phone on him. I'm not even about to deal with that and listen to that craziness. And second off, I mean, a lot of these white dudes in my city always talk about they go kick my ass, but they see me in real life, they don't do anything. 
So I just shot him a text. I said, you always got to keep everything real professional, especially when you run into a black owned business in America. So I shot him a text message. I said, look, you're banned from the store. Don't come back up here and all this and that. So then he started call, he started at, he started to call the store talk about he was going to come shoot up the store so man look we had to have like a cop sitting out there all day and then he had pissed off the store manager i didn't even know until like earlier today my store manager had sent him a message and then on facebook and then blocked him was like hey man fuck you like cuz he was mad as hell like you know you you we got to have a cop sitting up there at one of my stores cuz you this mama gonna talk about about to come shoot up the store. He say, "What's up, huh? When the Illuminati recruitment video coming out? That video is never gonna drop again. Just like on Judge Mathis. So, yeah, man, this, this dude, baby, yeah, this, this dude, this dude got got all these crazy white people. So he he makes it. He makes a post." Lying, making it seem like if I was such a bad boss and all this crazy shit, even though I got 30 employees, so many one of some of these people have been working for me for years. Wanda Wanda Sykes only the one ducket and says, sorry, you still in newspaper, here's your one ducket. Good luck. <laughs> but so nah, this this dude post all, and then the thing is that people about the thing about people in my city is, and he knows it. That's why he's that's why this fool is playing with this bull. White people are all these these racist ass white people in my city are always looking for a reason to try to discredit and try to get my business shut down for any and every reason. Every since I first opened up my business, my one of my first store back when I was um nineteen. I opened up my first store back when I was nineteen. I'm twenty six now. These damn racist ass white people in my city, they just looking for any reason. So he posts and all these racist white people blowing up the phone even more. Talk about they about to come um, put a burning cross outside the store, blowing up, me, blowing up my fucking DMs on Facebook, acting crazy, man. These, these, these damn white people acting crazy as hell. One white dude talking about where you at. I want to come fight you, which, you know, the thing about it is people, they see me as a business owner. So they think, oh, he must be from the suburbs, you know, all this and that. I sent them my I sent them where I was at, which I was at my store at the mall. I'm not scared to tell this is where I'm at. He ain't never showed up. I mean, I'm not scared to tell you where the hell I'm at. Like, you know, I grew I grew up on a damn block. You know, I'm not gonna be afraid to to tell you where the hell I'm at. You watch Burley's Yeah, that's my guy. Yep, that, yeah, that, that's my dude. Yes, sir. But so yeah, man. So that that that's why I wasn't able to post because I woke up. And I was reading through all that fucking bullshit out these racist white people posting on my show. I'm like, man, these damn racist ass white people. And then at the same time, you know, it's it's right, it's like two days before Christmas, you know, which I don't celebrate Christmas at all. You know, me and my family we don't celebrate it. That, that wicked, evil, demonic is hell. We don't celebrate no, we don't celebrate Thanksgiving. We don't celebrate Christmas. Christmas. We don't celebrate the Fourth of July. We don't celebrate nothing. But you know, a lot of the people do. So a lot of people come into the store, buying up everything, you know, so it, it's been real busy. You know, how was your wife? How's your wife? Oh, she good. Yeah, so all these down. Can black people be racist? The thing about being racist is a black person could be can stereotype. Yes, that's true. A black person can stereotype. Obviously, say, oh, all white people do this or all white people do that. But as far as like being oppressive, nah, that, that, that ain't that ain't that ain't possible. We can't we don't even have the damn power to oppress a people. It's something we, we don't even have. Damn, my controller don't got no battery life in it. No damn battery life. I at least want to give you all a different background scenery. With an empty battery. Yeah, can I bring back merch, man? You know what? Hey, actually, good look on reminding me, man, because I gotta I gotta get that right. So, so I'm I'm gonna show y'all this post real quick too. Yo, 
this this fool Ben with that you got the oldest trick in the book name. He said, keep up the hard work, good look, appreciate the one ducket. So I am I'm, I'm gonna show I'm gonna show y'all this post. So uh hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Alright, my bad. Let me let me let me let me bring it up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What kind of business do I run? I, I run a I own a game store. Alright, so let me see if I can bring it up. Oh my shit, hold on. Hold on, I'll show my screen. Damn. Okay. So let me bring let me bring this chat over here. So here, here, here's the post. And he made this long ass post. Got these crazy ass damn white people. Yo, um, Al FN donated one ducket. He said, uh, what the fuck is up, hood? Yo, what's good? What's good, Al? Yo, is that the Al that used to play H1Z1? Yo, Carts is number one fan donated one ducket. He said, what, what man what the hell yo your he big head is shiny just like my man these damn old ass jokes boy crazy as hell so all right my bad big mug will be the store manager so here here's the employee first off and you can kind of look at him and tell like you know he like, you know, he has like some social issues, which, you know, he did, but I never had a problem with because I don't discriminate. Do I listen to, to commit the zine? Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm not gonna lie. I do like commit the zine. That high riser song is one of my favorites. <laughs> so this, this, this is, this is to do. <laughs> so this is to do right here. The upset and mad employee who's mad as hell that he got fired made this long ass post. So this is this is what this is what he did. He made a long drawn out ass post to try to get these crazy ass white people to come attack. Because the thing is, when you get fired, you're not going to tell people the truth and why you was fired. I mean, when the last time you know somebody who got fired from a job and say. Yeah, I got fired from for a legitimate reason. You know, no, nah, they go say, oh, it's because they gonna make up a whole lie. So he got all these crazy ass white people. And, he, and here's this account right here if anybody wanna come see. So here, here here's this, this account. <clears throat> yeah, so he made this long ass post. And this is and like I said, this is why I couldn't go on ahead and post this morning. Cause I woke up, I'm looking at these fucking comments, and I was already mad as hell. And on top of that, I'm like, damn, well, I gotta be at my store right now. But like I said, crazy as hell. So you got all these, all these crazy ass white people ducking off of the comments. Hold on, fuck. How 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 do that? How do I click on recent comment? So you got all these crazy. You know, you got some people defending me who already know who I am. Cra crazy, crazy, crazy as hell. So this is why I woke up to. People. People, and then, like I said, so I'm getting I'm getting these DMs and whatnot on my Facebook, and I'm looking at this shit like. Man, these these fucking crazy ass white dudes really be looking for anything to try to discredit a black owned business. So I was mad as hell. So I'm like, all right, fuck it. I already forgot. Like I, I didn't have enough time to to um uh, to sh to upload a video. I might as well stream. Hold on. SpongeBob donated one ducket and said, "Die." I'm not even about to read the rest of your comment. So here, here's what my store manager said. He did post that. So my store manager said this last thing to him. Said, hey, Amar, fuck you. 
and then blocked him. Whatever. I didn't even know he said that. But the reason that was for good reasoning. You calling up you you calling our phones, talking about that you gonna commit mass murder. Come up to the store, come shoot it up. And then he posts my text message. Of course, I'm gonna ban you from the store after you threaten us and the damn employees. But no, yeah, hop in his comments real quick. Cause somebody did um somebody did say somebody's gonna hop in his comments. Where have you been? I uploaded a stream. You should go peep it. Yeah, come man, hop up in his comments. I wanna see how do you view recent comments? Cause I wanna see if um how I see y'all comments. Yeah, but Yeah, I, I I don't know how the hell to view recent comments, man. I'm gonna be honest, man. I I kind of gave up on Facebook. I gave up on a lot of social media stuff. No, yeah, yeah. His his profile is public, so this is his profile. But he's from Lincoln, so what you might have to do is type in his name, then type in Lincoln. Now here's the thing about it. Like I said. All his posts, you can tell this post blew up 190 comments. That's crazy as hell. 63 shares. Looking for some bullshit to say, but you see all the previous posts. 10 likes. Fucking two likes. Zero likes. One like. What's this? Four likes. And then he posted one of my videos with me talking about um, my grand. And then look at I'm so proud of my boss opening up his third store. Five likes. Where's all the people? All these people that's mad and upset at this post. I'm telling you, one lie, one thing that anybody says negative about a black owned business, people just go act a fucking, people act a fucking fool. That's all it is. Look. Two Pokemon games, two rare Pokemon games. Hitler donated one duck. I'm not about to read your whole name. He said, "Love you, hood. You make me man. What's wrong with y'all? Y'all, y'all weird with these donations." So yeah, I mean, all he's doing is just his post is getting no views, no no likes, no nothing. Hold on, let me. Somebody said refresh your hood, the page. Let me see. The hell oh did he disable the post oh no he didn't here it is yeah man these these, these some of these people in these um donation these donations is full 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 Amar, you are a demon. You should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> Alright, hold on. You need a serious mental help in your racist. Dope, dope shit. Damn, people came in these comments quick. I'm trying to see. I'm trying to see some people say something else. Drano T. Man, you know what? I was just talking to Drano the other day. Duck is only the one duck. He said, what's your store's name? My store's name is called Gamers. And I got three stores. Now, Gamers has been around for 26 years. Well, I, and I bought the business um, at the beginning of this year. But before that, I had my own store. I had my, I had my own video game store that I created from the ground up. So I decided to take over this store because it's the oldest store in Nebraska when it closed down. Are you going to be doing prank calls? I retire from prank calls. Prank, Facebook is so. Here, here's the thing I like about Facebook. You know, it's it's a good spot to like, you know, to like network with people. Especially what I be doing. I, I like to, you know, I like to network with people. I like to talk with people like that. I'll use IG for memes. I'm gonna be honest. Yo, Petty Gang doing it in one ducket. He said, "You fire me. I'm gonna get my nephews." <laughs> This fool. I'm gonna get my nephews out of bed and then, what beat your ass while you stream. Do shit. Good luck on that donation, Petty. 
Petty being petty. <laughs> nah, hit me up after this stream, bro. But here, 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 here's the thing about it. Okay, so now we talk about gunplay. <laughs> now, here, here, here's the thing about it. And here, here's this page. So to tell you what happened, if you don't know what happened. So this is an employee that I fired a couple days ago. This is why I didn't publish any damn videos today. Because I woke up and I was mad. I was mad as hell. I, the first thing you wake up, I usually do the first thing I grab my phone. I'm supposed to be looking at positivity. I'm supposed to be the first thing I'm supposed to look at who texted me that day. Did somebody call me? You know, that, that's that's the type of stuff that I'm doing. The first thing I did right when I grabbed my phone is to see an employee who I fired. At one of my stores. Because he was yelling and screaming and missing shifts, acting like a fool on, on, on Facebook. I'm getting blown up on because of this post by a whole bunch of racist white people. Motherfuckers talk, call on the phone, talk about they about to come shoot up the store. I'll F in and say, it's Al for H1. Dope, dope, dope shit. Yo, Al. Damn, it's been a hot minute. Damn. Yo, what games you be on now? Yo, Al, you, you still follow me on Twitter? Hold on, I think I might still follow you too. Let me see real quick. Yeah, bro. Yeah, you, you got a. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here you go, right here. Yeah, I still follow you. I just sent you a message. Damn, it's been a hot minute. Yo, Big Mo, appreciate the one ducky. You said. So what happens now? What happens with me since you retired for prank calls? Should all the characters retire? Jocko, Mug, Big Ron, everybody retired. It, the thing about prank calls, and I spoke about it in my last video, the reason why I retired is because um, I'm just, I'm done with prank calls, man. I'm tired of it. It's, it's something that I wanted to get out of a long time ago anyways. And I wanted to get into really just making skits. Rosa Parks with three Ks donated one ducat. It said, goofball what, what what's wrong with you people in these donations but yeah man that's what i want to do man i, I want to do these skits but let, let me get back to these comments real quick when i blow past when i blow past you don't do shit don't do shit somebody posted the fbi link don't want to be fist but every And, and 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 that's the thing about it too. You know, this this dude this this dude is a clown. So he was like I said, I got 30 employees that work for my store. I got three stores, I got 30 employees. And this this damn fool was working for the store, wanted to become assistant manager. Always, and it's always cool to be super friendly, but some, but he got real mad at one of my employees. Yo, Berlizzi donated twenty ducats. Do do shit, do do shit. He said, "Uh, twenty twenty would be a great year for both of us. Let's get those skits going." And I ain't talking. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Damn, it's so why the hell I can't see. Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me bring it down. And I ain't talk about tasting the rainbow, root, 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 cha. Hey, bro, I'm not even gonna lie, man. We, yeah, we definitely need to get those skits rolling. Root, cha, me, my boy Berlizzi came out the cut like peroxide. But no, yeah, man, I got a lot of skits planned up. What I'm trying to do right now is I'm up, I'm gonna re-upload all my videos. So I'm trying to hurry to get all the rest of this shit uploaded by probably by like the. At least by some time next month. Because I got like a hundred and something videos to re-upload. And after that, I'm telling you, I already got skits done and ready to go. But no, man, I, I'm done with prank calls, man. It's, it, I, ha I had to retire. I had to hang it up, man. So it's time for me to move on to these skits.
like how I've been planning to do. And that's that shit. But Jukes, appreciate the one, three ducket. He said, "Hug, huh, glad you back, bro. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate the three dollars." And the thing is, my whole plan was to come back anyways. I was originally going to come back in January, but I wanted to. I, I, that's why I came back early. I was like, "All right, this is what I'm gonna do," because I want to come back in January. So what I try to do is I'll try to push out all my old videos and then just kill off the prank calls because that's something I wanted to do anyways. Was to get rid of the prank calls. Yeah, because I'm yeah, I'm I'm done. Benjamin Linus daily at one ducket at two cents. Damn, that's an off ass number. He said we keep the, the 30 no stuff curry, real chop. But Man, but yeah, yeah, enough about that. But man, yeah, I'm definitely doing some skits. So, man, that, but back to what I was saying. So, this dude working for the store got mad at one of the police because he likes to fist bump people every 10 damn seconds. Got mad because one of the employees, he was busy. He was busy with a customer. He keep on wanting to fist bump people. He was like, hey, he, he was like, hey, Amar, man. You don't have to fist bump me every 10 seconds. I'm with a customer. Let me get right back to you. And I watched the camera footage. <clears throat> he storms out the store, all mad, pouting in the car, yelling and screaming. And then the store manager, who's coming from Starbucks next door, walks up to the car like, what's going on? He's in the car yelling and screaming, talking, that fucker in there doesn't respect me. So the store manager calls me, looks like, yo, look at the cameras to see what happened. It's because he wanted to keep on fist bumping him. He was fist bumping every, every 10 damn seconds. It then one it then got mad at the store manager like a week later because the store manager didn't want to play Tekken with him that night. Cause what ha what happens a lot of times too is the store managers, man, they they wanna they'll stay at the store, they'll wanna play games and whatnot at nighttime and not let them do it. And he was like, No, after work, you know, I I, I got stuff to do. So he got he spazzed out and made this bullshit post on Facebook. Message to these racist bastards. Go fuck yourself. Dope, dope, dope shit. The drama, that's on my name. And that's on my skull. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me bring back up the, the chat box too. So, yeah, man. Then on the phone, then go get in the post. Go get mad because I said you're banned from the store. Of course, I'm going to ban you from the store. You just threatened to... The last thing you said was, I'm going to kick your ass. Then you call the next day, talking about to come fucking, you about to go blow down the whole store like a flute? Like, that, what type of sense does that make? Like, I'm going to allow you to come back in the store. You just said you're going to come into the store and blow the store down like a damn flute. You about to come in there and about to come fucking like Link in Zelda when he plays the little flute and you got to press all the C notes in order to get him to play the flute. That's how he was talking. Talk about come shoot up the store. What you expect me to do? So then go get it. Then, like I said, as you can see right here, he got mad because one of the, the store managers said, Hey, Amar, fuck you. Shit, I don't blame him. I don't blame him. But yeah, yeah, you. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, crazy, man. These, these white dudes, man. I, like I said, I'll be. I got so many employees, so you really don't know somebody's mental state. But and I, like I said, I looked, I looked at the dude. But you know, I try to look. Sometimes could be deceiving. You can kind of look at him and tell that he he's he's he has a social issue. Jeffrey Epstein donated one ducat. It said, "Do prank calls again, or I'm gonna restart slavery." Told y'all I didn't kill myself, boy. Lay off them. So, I mean, this is what we dealing with right here. So, when he initially came in and he was wanting a job, when he ca originally came in, I, w I happened to be at the store. <clears throat> and usually the only people who are, the only people who are allowed to hire is the store manager or me. That's the only two people that can hire. The store manager at any of the three stores are me. The only people that could hire. He happened to come in and he was real cool. He was a loyal customer. So I thought he was good peoples. And I, like I said, I know he was always kind of socially awkward. He, he was always overly friendly, always wanted to do the fist bumping thing. And I know everybody's real different, but 
when he blew up like this, and I start to really analyze this man's Facebook, then I started to see why. I mean, what 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 the hell? God damn. On oh my Love King. What you do, Love King? What happened? Hold on. Yo, Lump, what you do? What who who mad? Yo, OG64 Crown Pack, what's good, bro? So yeah, he made this post. Oh, let me see what y'all talk about. Yeah, so you're mad. You're all ticks and nobody wanted to fist. But, and, and, and that's what I'm saying. Hold on. Let me peep this donation. MJ donated one ducko. What the hell? What is what is what is up with this? He said he he. Y'all y'all are some fools in these donations. Am I passing the business just a little wrong? I mean, it it all depends. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know how much longer like a physical retail physical retail locations is going to last i mean hopefully i can but with everything going online i mean hell online might only um last me i mean not online but selling in the store might only last me maybe a couple more a couple more years or so hold on let me let me message this person back and so when I think of a business plan, I think of a business plan of five years. So when I took over this business, I assume that the business is obviously going to survive for at least five years when I took over the business. Now, if it can last long enough for 18 years, I mean, that'll obviously be a beautiful thing to be able to pass it on. And, it, and, and it's all, I mean, yeah, that's it. Can you see who? Oh shit! I need to actually copy this one. Hold on, this one lit. Ho hopefully, it don't show my big booty pictures. Nah, I'm just playing. I don't got nothing like that. Yo, Dookie donated two dollars. He said that racist dude wildin'. Fuck him. Benjamin's a liar. Ain't retired though. Damn. No, Benjamin retired too. So. Yeah, man, that, but that's why I didn't upload. But tomorrow, I'm going to upload. I'm probably going to upload a couple more videos just to make up for today. Because I want to get all my videos up as soon as possible. And that's it. So what's my plan B? So say in five years, if retail... And there's really no telling. I mean, I always create a five-year plan. But the five-year plan in five years, if I have another, create another five-year plan, I could easily turn it to ten. After that, I mean, I'm just going to be doing everything online. That's it. I'm just going to be doing everything online. E-commerce. I mean, if you can't beat them, join them. I mean, that's why right now I got my website getting built from the ground up of um, able to be able to take e-commerce to where we could be able to post items on the website and sell stuff on the website too. So yo, King Gilbert was good. So that that's what, that's what I'm trying to do. So just in case if something crazy happens over time, we will still have the online website and have a warehouse. So I always, I always plan accordingly. That's how I do it. Hood forehead stay shining. You know what it is? I got like two lamps dead on my head. I actually got two lamps and I got two overlights dead on my head. So, yeah, I know it, it, it's crazy, 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 crazy. Hold on, what what's this dude say? Quit smoking all that damn weed on my front lawn. Dope, no shit. Damn, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna go flex. This is a good one too. But 
So, all right, let, let, let's 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 talk about something else now, cause I don't, I think the comments might have stopped anyways. I don't know, and plus it's always kind of hard for me to be able to see through these comments. But I think the uh, I think the comments might have stopped. So look, what 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 what's new out there? I'm trying to figure out what I need to be watching now, cause I haven't been like I said. I don't. I barely even watch YouTube videos now. This nigga said, "I hate white people." What the hell? Wow. This, nah, this fool is wow. Nah, this dude. That is crazy. Nah, I ain't never seen nobody head built like a genie lamp. How that happen? No, nah, that is crazy. Rub his head three times a Will Smith pop out in a complicated relationship. What? What? Nah, yeah, you need to yeah, you need to get rid of this picture off your off your Facebook though. That's crazy. Nah, yeah, you y'all y'all wild right here. Nobody wanna fist pump your crusty ass hands or deal with your sips ass stop crying. No, no shit. Damn, this fool, this fool is wild. But man, what, what, what's out there, man? What do I need to look at? I need to look at something. I need to start watching some more videos. I need to get back to seeing what's good. That's big wrong with the form son. Do 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 shit. Damn that that that's crazy. I'm hold on. I gotta click back on this dude profile one more time. Hold on, let me let me Google something right fast. Hopefully it don't show my X videos links that I'll always be looking up in here on a sneak. Cause that that's what it. I'm, let, me, let me see. Maybe maybe I'm tripping. That's what the current. Hold on. Maybe I'm tripping. The flute. I mean, I know I'm not tripping. I'm, I'm, I know y'all seeing what I'm seeing. Wasn't I just talking about Lynx flute? That is crazy. How you do that? That's crazy. I don't know how the hell you did that one. Well, fight is still losing at basketball. Damn. Why am I streaming so late? I was busy at, at my at my stores all day, running between stores. Holiday season. Everybody want to get stuff during this time. Yo, Leo, what's good? But, no, no, no. Let me let me click off your stuff. You acted, you a fool. But, nah, so, what, what, what's up? what else is new out there, bro? I need to watch some videos. I need to watch something. Hopefully, my, like I said, my ex video history won't pop up real quick. Do I watch Spiritual Soul? Is that just Soul Illuminati? You know, I can't spell, so I'm, I'm going to have to. Oh, yeah, that is so. Day, day 90 without busting a nut. Damn, how you do that? Mm-hmm. Now I might have to I'm about to hit click that sub button. I have to Yeah, you talk about X Juice World. Did I sell my soul? No shit. Hold on, let me see what he talk about real quick. Let me see what he talk about. Building gazer, gazer, nature so in a building, man. Simple. Make sure I ain't got shit on my beard. Gazer, gazer in the building. Now check this out, man. So I'm gonna tell y'all this. Life is literally a video game. Now, y'all heard me say this plenty of times. It's like we live in a fucking disc, bro. Literally. I know a lot of y'all motherfuckers don't think that the earth is flat, etc. Who can that's a distraction the earth round or flat that's really a distraction because none of us is gonna find out the only ones that can find out is the ones that could go within astro travel really see this shit with their own two eyes 
But if you are into history, if you are into the Bibles and all this different shit, you know the earth is flat, bro. It's in your Bible. Okay, okay. I I, I see I see he stepped up his game. Okay. He he don't I'm I'm not even gonna lie, bro. I'm 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 not even gonna lie. Y'all already know this, but if if y'all remember watching my streams back in the day, the earth is flat, man. I'm 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 gonna be honest. I, I studied it. I looked I looked deep into it because I wanted to debunk that de debunk flat earth. Like you know when you like like damn, I don't want to look crazy. I don't want to like people think I'm crazy. I got it. Like I had to. I was doing six to seven hours of research every night, researching flat Earth to try to debunk it so I can actually get a night of rest. Man, look, I did my research. The Earth is flat. Even when you, even what he was saying, even when you read the scripts, the scripts talk about the flat Earth. Talk about that there's a firmament above above the planet. Martin Luther King Jr. donated one ducat. He said, I had a dream and you came out the So no no no. No, the earth is flat. I, I actually did my research, but the thing is, I mean it, it like he said, it is really a distraction. I mean, flat around. The only way you can really see it is to really just astral project. If you can, add, if you learn how to properly astral project and control your inner your inner um, spirit, hood to business donated the two duck is fifty cents. He said, "From hood to business, man, that's real chop. Good look, appreciate that. Two duck is fifty cents. So that's really the only way." Now, I actually projected probably like I, I actually projected like quite a bit, but not able to have it control like some people can control it. You know, I go through like I've been going through like sleep paralysis like two to three times a week. Sometimes I'll go through it like every night on some craziness. But when you go through sleep paralysis. It's an easier way to be able to actual project. And it's really on what your frequency is on. But yeah, I'm, I'm never gonna lie. It's, man, I'm, I'm never gonna lie, man. The, the universe is, is moving in a certain way. If like if he if he talk about this, man, that means a lot of people been studying up, and I ain't been the only person who been off YouTube just do, doing nothing but research. But how do you actual project? So here's how I did it. So, you know, when you go through sleep paralysis, I don't know if y'all ever go through sleep. I go through it all the time. And I might, I'm not sure, because I'm not sure how it works, but usually when I go through sleep paralysis, it usually happens like this. If I wake up in the middle of the night and I try to go back to sleep, I'll go through sleep paralysis every time. <clears throat> now, you really have to, if you go to sleep paralysis, don't freak out like how a lot of people do and think you're hearing demons and all that stuff. Control, you got to be able to first off control yourself. You got to be able to control yourself when you in that sleep paralysis. Control your breathing because you can't move. You stuck. Control your breathing. And after you control your breathing, what you want to do is say if you land on your side, you want to try to turn over from the other side and it's going to feel, you're going to feel like this crazy vibration. This I'm, I'm telling you, this sounds crazy, but it's, I'm telling you, it, it worked for me multiple, multiple times. But it's hard to control your spirit once you actually astral project. Like, you'll feel this crazy vibration. And once you flip over to the other side, literally, like, you'll just be vibrating. Jeffrey F.C. donated one ducket. He said, Earth isn't flat. Carter, you're a goofy boy. See, that's why I said it's a distraction because it's really, it's just an argument back and forth. It's a distraction. That's why I'm not focusing too much time on. But the whole goal is to talk about astral projection. Now, every time I astral projected, I couldn't control. I will either slip or sometimes like if you get good at it, if your vibration is on a certain level, you can be able to slip. It feels like you're slipping like on ice. Like imagine like if you feel like Someone just would start to drag you on ice and now you're you're slipping. Like that's kind of what it felt like a couple times. It's, it's weird and it's hard to explain, but 
Yeah, man, sleep paralysis, that, that's like the start for me. I mean, it, it might be other ways to enter astral project, projection, <clears throat> but that was the only way. And you might be able to astral project if you just raise your frequency. When X was talking about, before he died, when he was talking about what frequency are you listening to, music, every music, every song has a certain frequency. What frequency are you putting into your body? Is it a de demonic frequency? Is it a he heavily frequency? There's frequencies that can help heal your body. Because, I mean, when you think about it, um, your body has energy in it. That's that's what your spirit is. It's energy. So if you can learn how to control those vibrations, which is what your energy goes through, then, yeah. Yeah. That's it. Hold on. I'm trying to read the comments at the same time. You look like a atro projection. The music industry is corrupt. Yup. How do you get to sleep paralysis? I don't know. Like I said, you you might have to just tune into a certain frequency. Get on YouTube. That that's, that is a couple things that I, I do on YouTube. I like look look up like um uh, high energy music are um raise your vibration songs and these vibrations it it i'm telling you it helps mold you is sometimes if you go to sleep listening to that you might be able to astral project or you might wake up feeling in a better mood and you might see things you'll see things around you change you'll see people around you change have you ever tried psychedelics hell no but i know people that i know people that have tried like DMT, which is naturally in you, especially once you die, it floods into your brain. And they talk about how they was able to reach another dimension and all this extra stuff. I've told y'all, man, I've been I've been studying. That's why I really don't post and I really don't I, I just do I study. I study everything. I'm on my way to Hood Store. Re upload the Soul Illuminati disc track. No, I'm good. Damn, that must be arrested for stalking. Damn, is that a real mo No, that gotta be fake. So, but no, nah, yeah, man, it, it's it's um, man, it, it, it's a lot of it's a lot of shit, man. But let, let, let me peep the rest of this. Right in your face, but you believe <laughs> science? Scientists is rent. Them are the demons. Them the ones that run this world. If you control space, you control the world. If you control the media, you control the world. You could put on the news whatever you want. Anything you want. You could feed us anything you want. You could tell us it's going to be some aliens come to this bitch. You could tell us it's going to be all type of flying saucers. You could tell us everything. But you the only one that can go up there and see what's up there. We can't. So we just got to sit back and go with what you tell us. Right? So we see them doing all. And and he he actually on point with that because if you can control the media, you can definitely control the world. Because think of it like this: if you get a bunch of people to believe in something, it can actually happen. It's a form of witchcraft. Me and Jessica, we was watching this movie like a couple weeks ago. We was scrolling through random Netflix movies. It was a movie called Witch, and. The thing is, these witches, they was able, they, like, it was just, like, regular high school girls. But they was like, hey, let's start a coven. Just, like, some off-the-wall type shit. And they, they was just, like, reading a little book on how to become a witch. They just said, you just have to believe. And they started saying, okay, this piece of paper is going to float over and over again. And they believed it, and it started to actually float. So if you actually believe something will happen, it will happen. This this is the thing that fucks up the black community. So here here's 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 what's what fucks up the black community. When we look at the black neighborhoods, what do we see the most? A corner store on every corner. And every hood you go to is a corner store on every Damn, uh, either a Planned Parenthood to abort our our children, or a corner store with liquor on every corner. For what? Because when you drink alcohol, it lowers your vibrations. 
when you smoke cigarettes and all that shit all day, guess what? And people be really out here hot boxing cigarettes. Really? Dudes really be out here hot boxing cigarettes, whatever. But when you do that type of stuff, that stuff lowers your vibration. So you can never make it to the frequency where you really need to be in order to attract it. Just like my man, Royal T Comedy said, the law of attraction. The law of attraction is real. So whatever you believe is going to happen, it will happen. That's another reason why I haven't really been on YouTube. But I try to stay off of a lot of this bullshit because most of the time it's just negativity. And a lot of people don't know how to get themselves out that type of mindset. So that's it. You woke. What the fuck? I feel and like your energy. Appreciate it, bro. Appreciate it. All these fake clouds. We see them doing all the chemtrails. The fake weather. Weather is fake. Modified weather. Modified. So a lot of y'all, y'all got to understand. A lot of y'all are in a city or somewhere where it's getting no sun, right? You have to understand where, where, where there is no sun, there will be more stressful people. Mm -hmm. Where the sun is not at, where the that and and that's true too, because man, you got a sun gaze, man. You gotta, you got the the if the sun provides, I think vitamin D, and helps it provides vitamin D for you and it's good for you, done in moderation. And if it helps plants and something as small as the grass grow, what do you think it's gonna do to the human body? If it's help, if you drink and hydrate yourself properly, like how you was hydrate some plants or hydrate grass, what do you think it's gonna do for you? How do you feel about the um, the pill Cosby situation? I mean, you obviously already know how I feel about it. I mean, it's it's all a a scheme and an attack on all black people. What they're doing is they're taking down all black leaders, so we won't have anyone to look up to. They took that they they took down MJ, so we can't look up to MJ. They took down Bill Cosby. I mean they they taking them all down. Sun to barely shine, there are more murders, <laughs> more deaths, more stress, more depression in those areas. Look this shit up, bro. I can't make this up. So what they do, they try their hardest to cover the sun, putting all type of chemicals that we breathe in. Life is a video game. We live in a disc, they just testing, they testing on us. They testing us. Like, we the rats. Like, they test, like, literally. Drugs. If you do drugs, you pop pills, they test them pills on rats before they test them on human. You know that? Look it up. Everything I tell you, go within or look it up. Mm. You can't really search online. Y'all got to understand the internet. Y'all only, y'all not really seeing nothing on the internet. The real internet is the dark web. The, <laughs> internet, the internet explorer and Google Chrome, nigga, that's only 1% of what's really on the internet. Y'all know that? So when y'all be going to go search and Google and shit, bro, you getting what they giving you. These mm. are the motherfuckers that run the media. You can't Google Damn. something. You got to really know how to do research or go within. You get what I'm saying? Damn, he, man, he on point. Damn. I'm, I'm never going to lie. He, he, he really on. Damn, I didn't know. I didn't know other people was really, really, really studying like how I've been studying and... Really focused on this shit. That's crazy. Yo, Cybtex, what's good, bro? Going to dark web. Nah, I'm not even trying to really fuck with that. I'm not trying to be on my TJX6 right now. You know, are you going to upload the Solomonati dish check? No. Uh, I'm good on the dark web. I'm good on the dark web. I, I've i been on it before. It, it's... It, I, I... Um... I was just looking at a couple of the websites and I, I hopped off, but I mean, nah, 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 nah. Yeah, but no, he right. You know, it is 1% of in the internet, but the thing is, you just gotta, if you, out of that 1%, man, you can find a lot of truth. I watch, bro, he dumb, late. I literally watch videos every day. I was about to... Those, those, those shit. Yeah, man, I, I haven't watched so Luminati, so, um, Luminati videos. Um, just because, um, man, I, I, like I said, I, I don't be on the internet like that. 
I really don't be on um YouTube like that anymore. So I don't I don't even know who the hell to watch. How are your sons good? They good, they good, they good. So hell, let me, let me actually Google my channel name. Well, YouTube my channel. Name. I find truths on X videos. I do too. So good, good, good. My my videos, my videos on on this channel starting to pop up. That's that's what I was trying to get to do because I started putting Hood Gaming TV at the end of my videos so people can know that I got a new channel, so people can pop up. What's this? Somebody made a compilation. I said he's fucking playing, motherfucker. No shit. Sure. Mm. Stranger than fiction. Yeah, I know about that channel. Only only ass I lick is my bitches in the morning. Yeah, okay. I eat a little bit of booty, but what the fuck that's supposed to matter? What the fuck does that matter? Because I eat girls' booty. I ain't eating no I ain't eating no nigga booty. The fuck you talking about? Uh, yeah, hold on, hold on. Let me get the that's uh, that's crazy as hell. What the hell he? I don't remember that stream. I'm I'm never gonna lie. <laughs> I don't remember when the hell I said that. Oh uh, man, I just did so many streams. That's crazy as hell. Hmm. 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 Damn, a lot of people, man, be up re-uploading all my videos too. This dude got 96 likes off that. Nice. I got one question for y'all. Who the fuck you got working the taco line back there? Okay, so what is wrong with your order, sir? Um, well, first off, my order isn't even in the box. You know what I'm saying? I was just off the side that motherfucker. I was a nigga with the do rag off the side to drive through. I was in the big body. Um, hey, look, man, I don't know what the fuck I got going on off the side that kitchen, man. Hey, I'm just now getting home, get ready to dig. He don't like that box. side of himself, now, y'all. Just <laughs> get ready to grub on me. And I opened up the box, and to my surprise, it's a big ass fucking sewage rat in my box eating my Chris Rap Supreme. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking I'm looking at Splinter, thinking I'm getting to see some turtles and shit pop up, but it's just Damn. a fucking big ass, fat ass, furry ass rat in my box. So I'm calling y'all to see what the fuck going on, man. First of yeah. all, I'm going I'm to need you to change that tone because if okay. you really had a problem with what's going on with your order, Yo, Andy that's Jones, something appreciate you, that you one should duckie. always check your food. I believe you, you live in a virtual reality. I believe you live in a virtual reality. Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me load back up what you said. It's rotted in a box. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest. I don't believe in a virtual reality theory. Now, I believe that yeah, we have the ability to control our universe and control things with our mind and our energy and frequencies. But uh, no, I don't. I don't believe in the virtual reality theory. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, hurry, hurry up, then hurry up, bitch. No, no, excuse me. I said hurry. Okay, hurry, hurry up, then hurry up, bitch. Yeah, damn. Excuse me. Hurry up then, hurry up, bitch. No, sure. Excuse me. I said hurry up, madam. First of all, I'm gonna need you to check yourself. <laughs> and second of all, if you really got something wrong with your food, you should have brought it back in here when you before you pulled out of the drive thru. The lobby just closed at ten PM. So apparently you didn't really have nothing wrong with your food. Cause any person in their right mind's gonna check their food before okay. they pull out of the drive thru, sir. And second third of all, finally no, no uh we don't have no rats here and I be I'm not gonna let no more food come out of here with a rat in it. Because I made your food. Okay. Now, you could have said anything that it was messed up. It had sour cream on it. I didn't want any sour cream. Then, okay, I could... Donation link is in the dis description. It should be. It should be in, in, in the description. Huh, when are you coming back to Chicago? I'm probably going to come back to Chicago, like, um next year. You know, I, I do want to come back to Chicago, man. Chicago got, got the best food out there. I'm not going to lie. I mess with Chicago heavy. Work with that. Or I, it had lettuce on it, and I didn't want the lettuce. It was my bad. I should have said something. Okay, I can work with that. Yo, shout out to Moose Knuckle donated one ducket. 
He say, you're great. I love hearing you. What? I don't know. What the hell are you talking about? You just said some crazy shit. I'm not even about to read that. But all of this extra that you, you had a rat in it, that's bogus. Okay. Mm. And we're not right. even going to have that. Oh, okay. Now, okay. if you so want to talk so about this, it, you can give me your name and your number. And what I would replaced? do is meet you in the gym and talk about it in the I, morning. Can I get my order replaced, though? Can I get my order replaced? You so know what, what was saying? wrong with your food? It was eating by a fucking rat. Look at this, man. I'm going to at least need something. Can I, can I just get my order replaced or something? Can I bring this box up here and just get a new order? What's, what can we do about this? First of all, do, do it. <laughs> okay, so it's ain't okay. nobody ate no food. Okay, what's your name? What's your name? My name is Big Rome. But look at this, man. I'm gonna at least need something for this. I'm gonna at least need fifty tacos. My reaction videos, nah. You know what I'm, I'm saying not, I'm not gonna react because, up, because up this is crazy as fuck. Videos. You know, what I'm saying? I can put this shit on Facebook. This is a no. viral situation. I be going to Rose of Fun all the time. I'm, I'm going to Rose of Fun again next year. I went this year too. I can call the channel news, right. man. I'm gonna need at least fifty tacos. Okay, well, let me tell you this, because now I'm getting ready to call your bluff because you got the right manager closing tonight. Okay. Uh, put real? it on the news. Okay. Yeah, put oh, it on you, the news, and we'll go from there. Know what? I was being polite with 50 tacos. Now you, since you want to be disrespectful, I want 100 tacos there, bitch, since you want to fucking act ignorant and shit. Doja. Oh, let me call it right back. Now, I'm never going to lie. I, have it. Yeah, she I don't remember surprised. most of these videos. I don't remember most of these videos. Hold on. I'll show, I'll show y'all something real quick. Let me, let me see. Oh, crap. So, most of these videos, damn it. Huh, most of these videos I don't, see, these are all the videos. And then I got some videos that I, I uploaded. I'm giving to upload. Then yes and no. I, I got some stuff separated, but I got a ton of videos. But I don't like these are all my videos I ever uploaded on my Hood Give Me TV channel. So I don't remember most. Six of niggas up. right now, up. and we all I'ma listen to ass, Tooling One I'ma, Savage. Hey, hey, Six pull niggas up. right now, and we all listen to Twenty One Savage. I'm hey, hey, pulling up with six niggas right now, off, and we uh, all listen to Twenty One right, Savage up, right pull now. Up, nigga, pull up, nigga. Pull if, up, nigga. If pull I pull, up. Up. you piss or, me the fuck off, dog. This goof ass nigga on this or, phone or, calling me private, wolfing the shit, man. Uh, man, I, man, pull up, pull your goof ass up. And, or, and, all, and all my niggas hold like they got a pee. Pull your whole ass up. All my niggas hold like they got a pee. Damn, do do say. What's this? I said it burp, burp, burp. Hey, yo, I man. I hey, Damn, I forgot. I got the troll videos in here, too. Oh, this, 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 this is when my channel first got um, banned. Damn. This it's is a been two whole months since I've been behind these walls. I don't give a fuck. I feel like one of these days, man, a wake up call go happen, bro. Uh Yaha's man, Yaha's man. We had so much fun back on my island, man. It was so crazy, man. Back two, two do rags, man. Those I don't know. I don't even know what happened to those do rags. I lost those do rags. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo. ah! Oh, hey, I'm back in the booth. That's a gang. I got a small dick. Listen to this shit. Hood, do you believe humans have a superpower? Hold on, let me, let me read these donations real quick. Yo, um. Uh, hold on, 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 hold on. Whoa, um, uh, Wub Season, don't, good look on that one ducket, glad to see you back, Hood. I need views from the Dookie back on SoundCloud. <laughs> Dang, I, I. Damn, you know, I lost the whole mixtape of that. That's crazy. I'm not even gonna lie, I didn't lose that whole mixtape. I need I need to I need to see if I can actually get that back. I lost that whole I, that was like a how many song? Like a 60 song mixtape. Afrozilla one donated one duck. He said, much love from KC. Make a video about the Astro thing and sleep paralysis. I love seeing it. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I could definitely do it. Yeah, man, cause that's I'm voting for Trump, not at a $1. And he just said some old bull. 
So here, damn, somebody asked me a question in the chat and I forgot what the hell it was. Damn, my bad, man. Somebody asked me a question right in the chat and I forgot what the hell he had asked. No, no, do humans have superpowers? Depends on what you define as a superpower. I was talking to, um, I forgot who I was talking to. I think I was talking to um, Andy earlier today. And I was talking about uh, people like, because he was like, what the hell did he say? He was like, damn, I think my dog sees something that I don't see. And I told him, I was like, you know, a lot of dogs have the ability to see spirits. He was like, oh, I heard of that. And I was like, also a lot of babies, not all, but a lot of babies have the power to see the spirits. He was like, damn, I didn't know that neither. Uh, well, he well, he knew about the dog scene, but he didn't know about the baby scene. And I brought that up and I told him some people when they're born with it, they, it, they, that talent never goes, but they could always work on it and help build it. Or some people have it as a baby and lose it, but you can work on having that ability to be able to see and speak to spirits. Cause I know people for a fact, it might sound crazy, but I know people who can, um, speak to spirits. So yeah, and then also you should look up um these videos on YouTube called Chi. And like these um Chinese dudes, they use Chi, they use their energy. Like how a person can be able to do a Kamehameha wave. Yo, shout out to um DJ Vavo, what's poppin', bro? Like how someone can be able to do a Kamehameha wave from Dragon Ball. People can be able to use that energy and be able to sit it out. It's it's crazy. So it, it just always depends. Superpowers. All it is is something that you already have within you that you're able to build up on. Where's the facts at? Where's the facts at? My nigga. Ain't time for that my, bullshit. Where's the facts at, bro? My nigga. Hey, look at this, Where's blood. the facts? Hey, look at this, blood. The facts is, my nigga, you could do a DNA test on her cheek, my nigga, because that's why I nutted. <laughs> I let off a big fat nut on that bitch cheek, this my nigga. This nigga funny, man. This nigga yeah. should be a comedian, man. Yeah. Do do shit. Let me see. My I, so I I I did a bunch of a bunch of bunch of videos. Here here's my I remember this video. It's my VidCon video. This the which one is this? <sighs> <sighs> Oh, man, yeah. nigga, if you don't, man, oh! This is what happens when a nigga goes further beyond. Damn, I'm gonna have to re upload that one too. Damn, I got a lot of classes. I'm not gonna go lie. Hold on, I remember. Two do rags on. Damn, I, I got a bunch of, I got I do got a bunch of videos to re-upload. It might take it might take a hot minute to get all these videos back up. Oh yeah, this is a classic too. Okay. Let's play this shit. Yeah. Hey, yeah, swagged up to the brown. Uh -huh. Hood gave me for the kill. Yeah. PS logos on my Tims. Uh -huh. Young nigga in them fields. Yeah. Niggas talking that beef. Niggas don't really want it. Out street fighter and Laura Coffee. Fuck your bitch and make it call it. Yeah, swagged up to the brim. Hood gave me for the kill. Hey, that shit, that shit thumb. Man, I got a whole bunch of shit. I don't know what most of this shit is. Most of this shit is probably. I don't know. On teeth out of Beetlejuice's mouth. <laughs> I must have been roasted somebody. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I got I got a lot of shit to re-upload. I just gotta go through all these videos too and see what most of these videos is. So I don't. Want... I let the other guy. Oh, it's a video with White being Almighty J. Oh, that's a that's a video with Al too. Al was up in it. Who was um who donated earlier? Smoke. Oh. Uh, 
And then Uber was up in that. Yeah. Oh, I think this might be the haunted house one. Up inside this motherfucker, robbers. Huh? Honey, I, honey, I, I'm, I'm just not liking the haunted house. It just seems like an ordinary house in the hood, honey. I'm just no not hood. liking it. Like, look at this place. Like, trick or treat. Trick or treat. Oh my God! Stick a little pocket. Ho, ho, ho. It, that's a real gun? Yeah, this for real. Oh my god! Let's yeah. Go over here real quick, nigga. Okay. I think I got the bubble gun cushion. Nigga, I got bean. No shit. How much one is this? What the fuck you getting loud with me? All I'm saying is, yeah, y'all forgot my motherfucking fortune cookie. You acting all ignorant and shit over the fuck fucking phone. Oh, bitch, I'm gonna, bitch, I'm gonna shove a fucking chopstick me, upside your motherfucker. You, you, bitch, you bitch, hey, 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 bitch, you I don't understand the word you said, but I'm gonna take that shit as disrespect on my hood. I don't understand the word you said, but I'm gonna take all that shit as disrespect. Damn. Man, man, man. Oh, yeah, I forgot this. Uh, this shit was with, uh, this shit was with fucking, um, Life of Tone. Man, I, I saw Life of Tone the other yeah, day. I'll always be like seeing him. He be up there at the mall. Bro, what the fuck? Bro, what the fuck? Bro, that wasn't me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bro, 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 what the bro, bro, fuck bro. is wrong with you, bro, nigga? I'm all back here at nighttime. Hey, man. Now you can see this. Let me, I, let me get in front. I don't know why I did this no. crazy. Man, I went up there uh, with some of these white dudes, man. Went into this fucking hunted ad. They had me go up in this hunted ass building. On some on some crazy, on some crazy shit. Red shirt hood. Damn. The family channel. I need to get back to that. I need to get back to that. Cause I, I do need to hop on my family. You know what? I think this is the Illuminati video right here. Oh damn, like if it was a whole earthquake outside, I'm like. A couple days ago on Twitter, if I upload this video on time, about a couple days ago on Twitter, I said fuck the Illuminati. And the reason why I said fuck the Oh yeah, yeah. let me cut that off just just in case they try to ban my new channel again. Yep, yeah, that was the Illuminati video right there. See, I could I kind of remember all the scenes. I don't remember this one. My nigga, you need some fucking dub for your fucking. Nod. Okay. Good. Just doing it for the benefit of oh damn man these is back man these is back when my fucking my twitch used to be my twitch was like super poppy i got over four thousand viewers in that that's crazy as hell yeah i used to i used to get a ton of people up there people used to come over there acting a fool yeah, but man, I got a ton of videos to re-upload. I don't know how long it's gonna um oh shit. Y'all might y'all might see my damn X videos link. I don't know how long it's gonna take me to get all that stuff re-uploaded, but whatever. No, I'm not doing no prank calls. I'm I'm done doing prank calls. I'm retired. I'm just trying to see what people upload. Oh. People re uploading all kinds of stuff. Mm hmm Damn, somebody up we uploaded the 3v3. I forgot all about that one. Alright, my prank call. Let me see this one. Hello? Hey yo, Evelyn. Hello? Hey, hello? Damn, he recorded this shit off the cell phone. Hey, yo, yes, hey, look at this, man. Hey, hey, I really don't got a problem with you, and I don't want to have a problem with you, so I'm just calling you just to let you know what, what your son got. Do I think these videos will come back and haunt me? No. Um, because I'm I played a character. Hold on, let me um let me watch these. Let me look at this donation. Yo, hook, can you email me that Illuminati video? Uh, yeah, remind me in the morning, remind me tomorrow, Andy, shoot me a text to remind me and I got you, but no, the reason being is because first off, I'm playing a, a character. Second off, if video, if a video where someone's playing a character is going to come back and hunt anybody, then every actor or any rapper that ever read for any position in office, in any position in office, should 
should be should lose that position. I mean, hell, look at Arnold Schwarzenegger. This this man made a video with him being a damn robot. That's crazy. No. So you're not Doja. Gonna, but do you so got here, you do you got what I got for you when you get here? Do you, you got here. do you got my plate of food ready though? You know what? Kiss my ass. So you're, you're not, just a little Rudy Poo little punk. You just a little punk. You gonna call somebody mama? Hey, 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 hey. Hey, don't disrespect me though. Do you have at least some food? No, a I'm nigga's just, home. Damn, 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 damn. But uh, what happened with live rays? Um, live rays shut down. Their site died after I left that site. And that was it. Are you going to upload every prank call? Yeah. Oh, shit. I'm tired as hell. But no, I'm going to upload every prank call before I upload anything else. So that, that's what I'm doing. I'm uploading every single prank call before I upload anything else. Hold on, let me, um, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I bet. All right, so hold on. Let me, let me answer a couple questions and I must have hop off this and go to sleep. But so tomorrow I'm going to try to upload, I'm going to try to like, cause well, I already got a whole bunch of prank calls uploaded. I'm going to try to like publish like maybe like seven videos. I'm going to try to do like a couple extras since I wasn't able to do it today after dealing with these fools on the internet, acting crazy in my comments. But yeah, man, live raise, man. They, after I left that website, their, their website, if it, it fell, it fell down. That website, it, it went to hell. But, um, yeah, that, that, that's it, man. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Big wrong. So here, here's the thing about it, man. The thing about retiring from the prank calls, I'm not trying to keep on saying this over and over again. I suggest y'all go watch that, that live stream. I'm done with prank calls. I got to retire them. And, you know, it, it's time for me to be able to move on anyways, past doing the prank calls. You know, I get you get tired and burnt out from doing something for so long. So you want to you want to just do other stuff. Uh, good luck, bro. Appreciate that, man. Can I do fan lines again? I can't do fan lines because live raise is shut down. And I know, man, I'm, I'm going to upload the old content. I'm going to keep on uploading it. But. Yeah, I know, man. AJ Lester. Man, yeah, I know. A lot of people re upload those old live race clips. That's why I really never really cared about the old live race clips because you, if you would have gone ahead and upload it, cool. I mean, to be quite honest, the live race stuff, I mean, it is what it is. But hold on. Let me see. I haven't banned a nigga in years. I just had to ban one today. Some I didn't have to do in a hot minute. You good? Who we support? Oh yeah, for sure. Do I watch Terrence Crawford? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's my guy. I actually just saw him like a, a couple weeks ago. He got a store down off of it down in my city. And he was up there, and plus he comes up to the mall all the time. And plus he buys for my stores too. But no, yeah, he he good peoples. The hood interview? Yeah, I'm going to upload that. Yeah, I'm still in Nebraska. No, I'm not uploading show videos, though. I'm uploading prank calls, um, pranks, skits. So the questionable bars, I'm re-uploading. I'm re-uploading all that stuff. Can I make a Discord? I'll think about it. I'll think about it. But I'm going to stop all here, man. I'll probably, I might hop on here tomorrow. It all depends. Look. Hold on, what, what, what's tomorrow? Christmas Eve or today? Yeah, today is Christmas Eve. So, yeah, man, I'm, 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 I'm probably going to hop on here tonight then. I'm probably going to hop on here tonight. But, man, I must get up out of here, man. So, I'll catch y'all later. I must go lay my, my head. Let's bring it back like old days. Let's set a quick prayer for the stream. I haven't did this in a hot minute.
Bow your heads. I'm ready for everybody to bow their heads. Die. Yo, what's up, God? I should go lay my head. Go lay down real quick. Go rub my nuts. My my bad, God. I ain't mean to disrespect you like that, but I I, I mean I'm just just about to go lay my head real quick. Go do me real chop. Shay man, I'm just gonna keep it real quick and simple because I'm about to go to sleep, bro. But I'll be back on here tomorrow, hopefully. So I gotta wake up early in the morning. I gotta wake up like at six o'clock. So I'm gonna go get like a couple hours of sleep. I'm gonna have a go live. So I catch y'all later, man. Shabai Hill, aka Dave. Leave a scoop.